let's make some dashes on stroke and put some arrowheads on the end of our stroke. Here we go. Let's make a new file. And here we go. I'm going to kill my fill, though I don't have to. And notice I have my stroke panel over here. It's very handy to have that open all the time. And you can find it by going to Window Stroke. And I'm just going to make, let's change my stroke color. And I'm just going to make a straight line. If I hold my Shift key down, that will give me a perfectly straight horizontal line. Shift down gives me a perfect vertical line. Or Shift diagonal gives me a perfect 45 degree line. And with my line selected, I can increase or decrease my point size. That's your basic stroke. But I have many people that work doing all kinds of weird things. They create boxes for Honda or they, they package guns and they have to do all of these diagrams. And many times they have to put arrows on the end of their line. Now I'm in CS5 and they changed the way you do this in CS5. Um, if I double click my stroke panel I get different options. And if I come down here notice now they have arrowheads. And I can come down here and choose an arrow. And I can come down here and choose an arrow. That's it and you can scale your arrowheads up or down as so and if you change the stroke size the size of the arrowheads change also now if you're in a version of Illustrator prior to this uh, you're not going to find this option at the bottom of your stroke panel so uh, what you have to do is you have to go to Effect, Stylize, and the top option is going to be Arrowheads. And you just pop that and it opens a panel and you do pretty much the same thing. Okay, now, if you want to apply dashes to your line, let's zoom in. Move some stuff around. If you want to apply dashes to your line, then you just click this little thing right here, dashed line. And you put in how long your line is going to be and how long, oops, if you want to affect, you got to select. So I'm going to select this thing. I select dash line and here you go. This first box is the width of your line and the second box is your gap size. Let's make this gap bigger. Let's make it 10. There you go. And I might make my thing 20. And there you go. So now you have your little dashed lines. Now as you can see dash gap, dash gap, dash gap. So so I've had I've worked with people at Levi Strauss and they've got all kinds of strange dashes and gaps going on so you might come in here and put 8 and come over here and put 8 again and and now now you've got a double double doozy dash line so that's that's how you apply arrowheads let's make this simple I'm going to get rid of this get rid of that and that's how you make dashed lines and and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a line you can actually make any path it's all stroke you can make any path and put dashes on any path